Hi and welcome to another episode of PSC Plays Guernsey FC with me Andy. Uh, we're here today looking at the team report. We think it's quite interesting to have a look see where you are in comparison with the other sort of squads in the league. Um, as you can see we are young, below average height, <laughs> yeah, um, the lowest weight in the league so we're, we're, we're pretty spindly with regards to weight because I think we're quite young to be fair. We have a, a low average player wage, but not as low as Nairsborough, who look like they're all on non-contracts. Scarborough, 275 quid average, mad. And um, our yeah player value is below average, um, but 9K the highest for Scarborough, which is quite interesting. If we have a look at keepers, uh, we've got above average reflexes, but we are the worst in the league for handling. Yeah, but above average for 1v1s and above average for throwing out. So yeah. Defence-wise, we are well above average on pace and well above average on acceleration, which is superb because we have quick defenders, but we do have the least strong and the least able to jump out of all of them. So, yeah, I think we, we by standing off and letting our pace do the job, I think that's where we're defending relatively well. We have a look at midfield. Nothing in midfield that's above average, which is surprising because I think midfield is our strongest, well, one of the strongest areas we have. Uh, decision's pretty good, um, but it's still below average, and we have the weakest passing midfield and the weakness tackling, um, sorry, technical midfield. Yeah, I'm surprised we're doing relatively well at the moment, looking at all of this. Um, in attack, um, we are, yeah, above average for pace and acceleration, just like we are across the whole squad, I think. Um, we are actually above uh, average on jumping reach as well, just about average on finishing, so... Yeah, well, it was nothing out of the ordinary here, is there? When we look at physicals across the squads, acceleration and yeah, agility are very good, as well as fitness and pace. But we can't jump, we're weak. And if you look at stamina, that's right near the bottom as well. So, yeah, <laughs> mentally speaking, we're brilliant at decisions, below average everything else. In fact, our teamwork is the lowest and our determination is the lowest. <laughs> It's not looking good, is it? And <laughs> look at the technicals. All the technicals are below average. Uh, long was it? Uh, long throws are the lowest, in there. and our penalty taking is the lowest. That might just be from the fact that this is a squad depth, and um, I've got a relatively big squad, but not massive. Um, but that might be why some of these are quite low. But I thought it'd be interesting to just take a look where we are at the moment because our sort of league position doesn't really doesn't really you know, sort of coincide with what we're seeing on the screen here so anyway but yeah we're back here today for the FA Cup game against uh, Colwyn Bay uh, uh, third quality round so that'd be amazing if we can get through that um, and <clears throat> get to another another round and another payday hopefully but we played two league games in the middle and here's how they went so yeah beat AFC, AFC, uh, AFC Mansfield 2-1 away um yeah, brilliant own goal to start off, which helped. Uh, we went 2-1 up, and uh, sorry, 2 nil up, and then they go back to 2-1 for a little squeaky bum last eight minutes or so. Um, if we have a look at the stats. Yeah, 16 shots to their 13. We had 63% possession. They were playing a 4-4-2. Um, we went relatively wide. I played Marco, Marcus Walden um, a bit further back because he'd rather play um, right midfield as opposed to right attacking midfield, and that seemed to have worked. I... I, I Mix and match, basically, as to what's happening during the game. Um, if we have a look at the goals, as I let them let them go through, as you see, our best player, 7.1, um, shows the game was relatively close. But this is the Oggy. Um, yeah, Palmer to Josh Wakefield. Post, hits the goalkeeper, goes in. Exactly the same as what happened to us the other, other game. Another one with the clapping Wilson. Crazy, and then this is for two one. They just walked it through us basically and tapped it in the bottom corner. But we, um, yeah, held on for a two one. AFC Mansfield near the bottom of the, the uh, league at the moment. So yeah, three points. It's all that mattered. And the last game before today, uh, a three one really good win against Hendon. Um, I think that's the fourth game with one three one, which is uh, obviously our our favourite score at the moment. Notice five yellows and an injury for them. Three yellows for us and an Oggy um, scored for us, which was very nice of them again. Two in a row, two games in a row. And if we have a look at match stats, um, yeah, less, slightly less shots than Hendon, but more possession. Um, and we did really well with the possession. It's almost the same formations across both teams. 
Um, so if we have a look at the goals for this one, yeah, I think we went 2-0 up, then 2-1, then back to 3-1 near the end when they were really pushing on. So Marcus into Arthur, clip ball over the top to uh, Ruben, great ball over, and Ben Morris um, still was playing him inside forward at that point, was there to finish. This is a 2-1, so we'll look at this. What a goal from their defender. Brilliant own goal, thank you very much. Keep them coming. And then went back to 2-1, so Chadwick just absolutely lumped it. Therefore, German got on it and yeah, finished easily. That was pretty poor defending, to be fair. Uh, and this is for 3-1. They were push, push, pushing, and we just lumped the ball over, and Ruben Wilson gets in there and scored. And I've got a couple of um, more faces for these peak players now. Uh, went online and, and downloaded them and, and did all the all the stuff of linking it up to the IDs and whatnot. So we've got a few more faces for players now. But yeah, it was a 3-1, good win. Yep, so here we are today. Um, we're playing Colwyn Bay. Uh, they are same level as us. Not that us. God, put my teeth back in. Northern Premier League. Um, so they're, they're tier 7 just like we are. And they're 8th at the moment. And let's have a look at their schedules to see how they've been doing. Uh, so they got battered in their last game by Curzon Ashton. Um, but they've been doing relatively well. How they beat Radcliffe 2-1, who um, we beat in the playoffs in Season 1. So they obviously went up from Season 2 to this level. So, yeah, they beat them 2-1. I think we beat them 4-0 when we played them. But Oh, that was in the Cup, so they might actually still be. Oh, no, no, they're still in Tier 8. Forget what I said. But they did beat Chelmsford 3-2 in the last round, and they're um, better on South. So they are a good side. Um... Let us have a look at our team selection. So we have Nathan Rose back. Brilliant. Really, really good to have. That's almost full strength squad here at the moment. We've got no real injuries per se. Um, yeah, Nathan Rose had, a fit, Rose had a fitness test and yeah, fully ready to play, and so that's fine. So yeah, Tommy Scott, Harry Tobin, Tom Bruce, Steve Aldridge, Charlie Fripp, Ed Palmer playing um, obviously his anchor role there. Charlton Govain and Arthur Warren. Um, Charlton Govain seem, seemingly overtaken Charlie Higgins this year. Uh, Charlie Higgins is more of a bit part player. Um, Nathan Rose on the left and Ben Rose and, uh, Ben Morris on the right. And Ruben Wilson up front. Um, yeah, best photo I could see or find. He had his head cut off. He, this is for um, uh, Plymouth Argyle Reserves. But he has scored 10 out of 10 or overall this season. Eight, six out of eight in the league and four or for two games in the cup. So... Uh, could continue this cup run of scoring would be amazing. So let us submit the team. <clears throat> Let's go into this and really give it a good go. So you can see I've got a few more player photos. Um, they're playing 4 4 2. <sighs> I hate 4 4 2. Um, as passionately, assertively say, uh, carry on from where you finished. A lot more to come from you boys. Let's go and do this. Let's have a quick look at their instructions. I'm gonna press, have they got anybody's neck? No, they're all pretty good at the moment. Sam Sanders looks good on the 7.12. But Owen Evans, I'm gonna press on him because he's 6.5 average. Might only be on one game, obviously, and not looked close enough into that to know, but I think it's worth. Um, and I'm gonna press on their right and left backs with our um, attacking midfielders, see if that gets uh, gets us some joy. I send that team talk, and um, yeah, I'll see you for the kickoff. Yep, we have the kickoff. Um, let us play. So yeah, moving back to Ed, and um, yeah, let's just hope for a really good performance. We should get a good, good gate today as well. But they've got a free kick, and Tommy parries it out, and yeah, Tommy Bruce is on to on hand to get rid. Um, it should be a good gate. It was 1,350 for the last round at home that we played. Then we played Great Wakering and beat them 3 1 away. Now we're at home again. Hopefully, it should be 1,500, maybe about 20k gate receipts, which would be superb. Nothing much happening at the moment, though. Nothing really standing out on either side. One shot each. Yeah, I don't particularly want my centre forward to get sent off. That would be a bit of a bummer. Um, right, 20 done. Nothing much happening. I'm not focusing play anywhere, but we're playing wide. I think I'm going to focus play down the wings and um, 
leave the overlaps and underlaps. Let's just see if we can go around the outside of them. Um, I won't go exceedingly wide. Um, I don't see the point in doing that, but yeah. We have a little highlight, but oh, Ruben gets in there. Oh, he's running around. Oh, it's just wide. He is quick. One thing he has got going for him, he is very quick. And uh, yeah, we've just had a, a flurry of shots. Um, it would be nice to get this game over and done with, though, because I really don't want replays. This The replays are what kill you, so. Um, yeah, they're looking about as shattered as we are. Their centre back, Charlton, is on a 77. Nathan, free kick. Oh, that's a dribbler. What the hell happened there? It's almost like he hit it, hit it along the floor or under the wall or something. Let's have a look at this. No, it just. Oh, dearie God. Yeah, so it's still AI for keepers is pretty poor, isn't it? Let's praise them for that one. Yeah, Nathan's a bit of a legend. <laughs> He's our first good um, um, uh, new gem. He's come straight in and he scored and he scored and he scored and he was a player of the year last season. And um, yeah, that's... Please, there you go. Good boys, keep it going. End your team talk. Let's have a look at the tactics. Anybody really shattered? No, we're all in the 80s, which is good. Um, I might think about bringing Wilson off because he's on a yellow. He's on 6.6, .6, Ben Morris 6.5, Arthur's on a 6.5. There are players that aren't playing to their full potential. But we will start the second half and I'll try and get it to 60. Hopefully we can get to 60 with no issues. Um, all right, so they've got a highlight and it's balled over the top. Uh, oh. That was an amazing block. That was really physics out of the window job though, but yep, yeah, Tom Bruce, another legend. Yeah, it's good that all our youngsters are really coming to fruition. I'm gonna pause it there. So Nathan's on an eight one two call. Ben Morris is not playing well. Um I'm gonna take it off of focus down the right. It might be just being forced too much to him and he's not having a good game and every time he, he does something bad it makes it worse for him so let us confirm the changes and play on that so we're coming up to the hour mark um, we're still I would suggest on top of this so let us make a a positive substitution now we've got Arthur's on 76%, 6.5. Ben's on a 6.4. Could bring Kieran on. Could bring... What's Josh like on the right? Uh, do I bring Josh on as a right? What's Kieran like on the right wing itself? He likes being a right winger. Okay, I'm going to bring Kieran on for Ben because he's not had the best of games. Um, I think he's really enjoyed playing inside forward on the left, which is a shame because I can't play him there if Nathan's playing because Nathan's got to play and he's not an inside forward on the right. That might be something we can think about in future. Now he can play up front maybe. It might be worth trying to yeah, train him as an inside forward and uh, have some kind of gagging press with the youngsters going um, in the future. But Right, so yeah, Kieran Mann's coming on. Nobody else is shattered at the moment, are they? I'm going to confirm that and we're going to play on. Let's see if we can um, get to 75 maybe. And then, oh, Kieran gets booked away straight away. Right, I'm going to pause that there. Um, Arthur's come back to a 6.6. .6. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Robbie Leg up front. And he, he you know, he. he as good an advance forward as he's a, a poacher at the moment. So, um, yeah, I'm going to confirm that. And hopefully, if Robbie can get the ball, oh, they've got a free, they've got a highlight. Unfortunately, oh, somebody he's going to get there. Ball over. Oh dear God, it's just looped over. <sighs> One all. We just can't keep clean sheets. 
We seem to be on top and games, and just the clean sheet looks like it's coming, and then just it disappears. There's a looped header, is it? Uh, okay. Now this is where it's dangerous because they've they're going to be on the, the front foot now. Um, now, what can I do to? I'm thinking maybe bring Charlie Higgins on for Arthur. Yeah, Charlie Higgins on for Arthur, but as an attack, focus down the middle with underlaps. Does that make sense or not? Yeah, um, I think I'm going to go extremely high tempo for these last 20 minutes as well. A much higher line and go attacking because I don't particularly want to draw this. It would be lovely to get a win if they win and we don't have to play. Oh, it's it's going to affect our league because our league form if we're not careful. So let's try this. Let's just go straight up the middle. So all three subs made. Let's see if we can get there. And um, they've got a. I'm going to demand more of the guys. They're just going to bang it over the top, aren't they? Bell. Oh dear, oh, it's a good save from Tommy Scott though. <whistles> Kept us in it there. Great save. And corner. Got to take time. <laughs> God, it was that good a corner. Um. Yeah, so we're on attacking. We're giving it a go. One more, right, okay, our ball. No, Harry Tobin. Into Charlie Higgins, back to Harry. Who has it robbed off of him and, oh my God, this is rubbish. Back to McCready. Into Sonner. Evans, ball over. And it's all over. Okay, one all, almost perfectly level game. We have more of the more of the um, possession, but yeah, awkward team talks. These one after a draw. I don't know. I'm gonna put unlucky. And Rubin was okay with that, was he? Right. Um, don't know where that really leaves us. Let us have a look at the schedule. Okay, yeah, so we've got obviously got Colwyn Bay on the Tuesday. Um, looking at this, I'm not going to bring us back for the Cups because we've been there and done that over the last couple of seasons. Um, having a look at the league, I mean, we're 10th, but we've got a game in hand. Win the game in hand and we're going to be in and around 5th, 6th, I reckon. Um, so these league games are more important than these Cup games. So we've got we've got Farnborough, Gloucester and Hungerford at the bottom there. Where are they? Farnborough's there, Gloucester's there and Hungerford are fifth. I think we do a whole ton of games off and then come back for the Hungerford game at the end of October. I think that works. Yeah, so we'll be back for Hungerford, hopefully. Might might be back before that, because I actually Give me a second, I'll come back in a sec and we'll see because we'll get the fourth round draw and we'll know when that is. So the draw has occurred and this is who we'll be playing, Yeovil. Now they are now Vanarama National League. Um, if we have a look, um, they're currently in eighth. So they're, they're, oh no, that's not current, is it? That's last, what am I talking about? 2019-20, so that's a current season. They're actually 23rd. Wow, so they're not doing very well in the Benarama National. Uh, they've been as high as the um, championship, sort of 2013-14 season. They got relegated to the national uh, the season before last. Then they finished eight, as it said, eighth as it said there. I was getting a bit mixed up. Um, but they're 23rd. So that's an interesting one. And that would be Saturday the 17th. So if we could put Colwyn Bay away in the replay, and we'd have a Faversham and Swindon, I would come back for the um, Yeovil game because that will be the biggest game we've had, I think. Well, we did play Chesterfield, 
but that was in a trophy game, not not the um, not the FA Cup itself. So I think yeah, if we beat Colwyn Bay, we'll be back for Yeovil, and if we don't, we'll be back for Hungerford down here at the end of October. So yeah, if you um, like what you've seen today, yeah, leave a thumbs up. That would be amazing. Subscribe for this every Monday through Friday, and uh, see you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.